So on today, I shall project on Wednesday. Yes, Wednesday. Okay, I try to remember all my project days. So I'm gonna alter this. I never altered this one before. So I saw Linda alter the cup place. I'm not sure if she's the Roman cock or the number, but she cut this off and let's alter the gear one. So um as you know when I alter stuff I I want to make sure that everything is going into place. So this So make sure you um, put it together first before you glue it. This one is not right. Trying to make it right. Here it go. I wonder why that one is not fit. But you have to play around and make sure it's fit. Make sure this one is right there. Here it go. So, and then this one is uh, um, hang on, this one is not right, guys. Here it go. So if you have the gap, this means it's not right either. Here. Oop. It's now it's no gap, guys. So this is good. This means it's the right way. That it, this is the right way, guys. So now, so now I know this is the right way. So I'm not gonna put the face because I'm gonna, if I put that now, it's I will have a problem decorate inside. So I'm gonna have to think what am I going to do first. First, I want. I want to use a photo in here. Right. As you know, on my project, I love put photo in there. So that will look like that in there. Okay. So I'm thinking I either use some frame in there as I always do. So I'm going to. use the paper inside all around here okay so what I'm going to do I'm gonna measure around here I think I'm gonna glue it for it guys right and then I will Measure the paper. Let's get here the train, guys. <laughs>
bag, so I glue this one dry and I cut all the pieces. This is the paper like this. It's a uh, Randall something, I'm not sure, but I cut all the pieces inside here and the wall side on top and the bottom. So I'm gonna mod podge it. So I'm gonna use my mod podge. So I have this wood piece scrap here, so I'm a layer to layer there because I want this clip photo to pop out a lot. Sorry, I turned off the light, so let's see how I like it. Looking pretty good so far. I'm not sure it... So I'm... Um, I'm gonna glue that one down there. So on this one, I may not use wood glue because I don't think that would be a really good idea. I don't want anything to happen to his photos, so. And wood glue, it gives me time to adjust his photo anyway. Let's see if I put the frame back. There will be the last piece that I want to put in there, but let's see. That would look pretty good so far. And now time to embellishment before I close this one. And uh, you know, decorate the Let me see if I move his photo back that way a little bit so that his picture will be on the on the this circle better. Yep. Okay, I'm back. So I'm gonna use this at a perfect moment. So I'm gonna use that one the bottom of his photo there. I'm gonna use hot glue. So because I don't think this will go anywhere. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking I'm gonna put this rubber guy in here too. I'm not sure but
Let's see. I think they need some, um, some flower embellishment out there. flower here I can put that one in there I can have that one right there on that corner. I think will be it, I believe so. And it's gonna be right there. And I'm going to glue this one and then I'm going to um I think I might paint this, but I have to be careful of painting this because I don't want to get a mess of picture, but I'm going to glue this one and then cover with the paper outside. I'm not sure what paper I'm going to cover it, but I'm going to use my Mod Podge to glue there, guys. I think I might use Randall paper again. And for the outside, I'm going to, I think I'm going to cover it. I might cover with the back paper, I think. If I use the black one, I don't think if I can paint in blue or orange. Um, hmm. Well, I can use this the same color, the paper, inside, outside. Yeah, but let's do that. So. I think inside I'm um, decorated, I think that it's enough. At least I want to use some corner photo right there, but I'm not sure yet. But right now I'm going to focus on this. I'm going to start this one right here. Yeah.
so I cover all my paper. Sorry, outside here. You can see I haven't distressed the outside yet. But this is what it looked like so far. So I'm gonna paint this in white first, and and then I will paint another color that I'm not sure yet, but. I'm trying to paint this. You know, I wish I have I used the lacquer. I mean, lacquer wood because this one is kind of bother me. <laughs> you know what I can do is I can cover the frame here, guys. See, really, it's just the frame, but I paint all this clock. What do you think? Um, yeah, let's do that. So I'm gonna paint this. So I'm gonna use strip to the paper, washi tape, or whatever you have in here. So wow, well, I think I have a great idea. So I'm gonna use some washi tape. I would add in, so I'm not gonna paint right this. Okay, I'm gonna wipe it off. Let's see, add on my washi tape to came out. Yeah, let's do that. So, but for the clock and the hand, um, the hand clock, yeah, I have to paint it, okay. Well, you can leave a natural color, but I don't really like natural color, guys. It's all way better me. So anyway, I'm going to speed this one up, and I'll be right back. So this um, dry, and I'm going. I paint this uh, coated two times, guys. So I'm going to use here French, French, uh, French vanilla, not French. French vanilla, I should add name. <laughs> French vanilla there, so I'm gonna paint this. Okay, to get that vanilla color, and then I will um, stamp on it, and I will be right back. Here, what it look like, and I'm gonna stamp this with my script stamp here, okay? So I love using this script stamp, Linda, keeping to me, guys. Really, I do. Just trying to get right there, but it oh wow! I think will be it, guys. Okay. I'll get some there. Now, I'm going to use my washi tape here. I'm Halloween from Dollar Tree that I got. I love this guy. A little bit wet, guys. So, I'm going to lay up. From this corner so and then we'll have to trim it up I 
I get, I can fold this one down, guy. How was that? Is that cool? That will look better. Here you go. I like it, guy. What do you think? Is that cool? I love it, guys. Love that. I'm gonna do the same thing with this side. Loved it, Dollar Tree, what she did, babe. Love love it. Isn't that cool? I love this. Awesome, awesome idea. Now I'm gonna line up until the end of this one guy. How about this guy? Isn't that cute? I love this guy. <sighs> love washi tape guy. I before I was a really big fan of the washi tape but now I keep using it everywhere guys. Isn't that cute? It's so adorable guys. I love it. That's how it, it look like. I love it. So um I should I don't know I should it she adds some more flour, but I didn't have much flour. So, but I think gonna be it for the project, guys. So I, I'm going to the stress edges. I'm not sure, but right now I kind of like doing okay. You know, on the edges you can use a watchy tape to cover like this too. Isn't that awesome? I think it looks super super cool. If you don't like this um, cloth here, maybe next uh, next when you do it yourself, you can you use washi tape on top and the bottom first, and then you do on the side. So this one will be, you know. But either way, it's it's okay for me right now, guys. See Lily, I love it, guys. Okay, I that's it on my outer project on Wednesday. Thank you so much guys for watching. If you like my video, please leave your comment and give me a thumb up. And I will see you guys next Wednesday for our child projects off the page. Alright guys, thank you. Bye bye. Love you.